Back at the turn of the century, a system of light rail bush tracks was used to transport the huge Jarrah and Carry trees being rapidly felled in the forest south of Perth. It was an important part of the state's development, but by the 1970s, most of the network had been pulled up or modernised and the old trains scrapped. So, in 1974, three train enthusiasts got together to try and save the remnants of the state's early railway history. Together with a growing band of volunteers, they salvaged old locomotives and carriages from around the state and set about restoring them to working order. Thousands of unpaid man-hours later, the Hotham Valley Railway now offers tourists the chance to enjoy the sights and sounds of these old trains. Of course, none of this would be possible without the hard work and dedication of volunteers like Gus Matheson. So it seems to run in the family. Uh, father was a railway man and my grandfather was a railway man, so there's not much hope for me, is there? What do you think it is about steam trains that attracts people? You can really see them working, you know, they, they slip and slide and puff and grunt and they really, really they've got character. Did you have a train set when you were a kid? I've still got one. <laughs> Today, Gus's train set is one of the most successful tourist operations in Western Australia, with a turnover of more than a million dollars a year and carrying over 51,000 passengers on trips ranging from five-day rail safaris to short rides through the Cary Forest near Dwellinga. And it's trees like this one that attracted timber getters to the area. Its lowest branch is 15 metres off the ground. It's more than four metres in diameter, making it a prime target for loggers. But somehow it managed to escape the timber getters axe and is estimated to be about 250 years old. For tourists who want to see these giant trees and satisfy an appetite for historic train travel at the same time, Hotham Valley Railways runs the Etmelin Forest Dinner Train. Good evening, welcome aboard. Passengers are bussed from Perth to Dwellingup, where they join the train for the three and a half hour trip through the forest. May and October, the little black G-class steam engine pulls the train. Then, during the height of the bushfire season, an early model diesel locomotive does the job. But no matter which engine is used, the rest of the train is made up of their best vintage carriages. The oldest is this 1880s lounge and bar car, where pre-dinner drinks are served. Then, it's on to the saloon car, where big picture windows give a good view of the surrounding forest. As night falls, spotlights on the sides of the carriages catch the occasional wallaby or possum scurrying through the bush. Though this trip is more about enjoying old-fashioned rail travel than tracking wildlife. Back in the galley, the kitchen staff create hearty meals on a wood-fired stove for the 40 passengers that can be seated on each trip. And to make sure it all goes smoothly, the train only travels about four kilometres an hour which is just the right pace to enjoy a leisurely five-course meal and a good view of the bush. The Hotham Valley Tourist Railway operates out of Dwellingup in Western Australia, 109 kilometres southeast of Perth. 